South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Bill Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Our live SkyCam network showing uh, calm conditions, but uh, overcast skies after a few rain showers worked through today, more so uh, yesterday than today with isolated activity. You can see it on the uh, looping Doppler radar right here. A few showers developing during the heat of the day where temperatures popped up to 92 degrees. Right now it is all quiet in the coastal bend. The nearest showers are west of Freer, headed uh, towards the border there in Sanal and uh, breaking down. It's in the 70s in North Texas. What in the world's going on there? We've got a cold front, and uh, it's the first of the season. It's not a big front because it's early September, but it is way early, and there'll be more to follow. Someone asked me about this. This will put us in the 60s, and the next one will happen this month as well, and that'll put us in the 50s, and it's about three weeks early. So this is good news right here, and it squelches tropical activity for us, and just in time as tropical depression number 13 formed to our south. But high pressure, Canadian in origin, dropping south and then east. And again, that's going to uh, turn Irma away from the Gulf of Mexico and also keep tropical depression number 13 down here near Tampico away from us too. Here is Irma, the big hurricane, Category 5. Winds hit 185 miles an hour this afternoon uh, in this massive storm that you can see, a very well-defined eye. And our hurricane force winds extend out 60 miles from the center. We also have Jose out in the Atlantic. Jose will stay in the Atlantic and not be a threat to anyone except shipping lanes. So this is the latest on Irma, Category 5 hurricane, 185 mile an hour winds, gust of 225. Some reports are saying the strongest Atlantic hurricane ever in recorded history, moving west at 15. It's amazing that it's developed so much with that fast forward speed. And here it is on the track of Irma going through the Northern Caribbean and the models uh, make it that hard right turn that we've been talking about for a week and saying that it wasn't a threat and to stop listening to rumors because this was going to turn as a Category 5 hurricane uh, weakening a little bit over the Southern Bahamas as a Category 4 on Friday and then starting to turn towards the Florida Keys and South Florida could be devastating for parts of the Sunshine State. We'll see how this turns out. Again, I don't think it's going to make it into the Gulf. Tropical depression number 13 is about 35 mile an hour winds. It's east of Tampico right there. It's going to loop around as a tropical storm and then go inland further south. Again, being squelched by this high pressure in the front. And again, this is the key to our forecast. Notice this low. Eventually, a secondary surge is going to pull Irma up into Florida and the east coast of the U.S. We're not included. There's the moisture. A little bit of it left over for rain here. Not much on the future tracker, as you can see here during the day tomorrow. We'll pick up a few showers, and then it'll clear out, and that'll be the end of it. Our winds will switch to the north. They're southeast now. They'll be calm in the morning, north uh, in the afternoon, though, and picking up through the afternoon hours. Tonight, expect to see a few coastal showers again, warm and sticky, and 73 degrees tomorrow. 89 degrees, first cold front of the season, morning showers clearing in the afternoon, and your seven-day forecast, 65 on Thursday morning, 86 with sunshine Thursday afternoon, 67, 88 Friday, and we're back to near 90 degrees over the weekend and next week, but the low temperatures will be comfortable. Lee and Stephania, this is uh, something good for us here in South Texas. Oh, yeah.